Welcome back, everybody, to the Dice Towers coverage of Gamma 2017 here in beautiful Las Vegas. With me right now, we have Rudy from Bushy Road Games. Yep. And you have something quite lovely to look at here. I'm looking yes. forward to hearing about it. So what we have here is our new uh, kind of like a hybrid DCG, which you not only uses cards, but uses dice as well. So the first thing I'm going to run through is how we use the dice in the game. So every turn, the player will have three dice according to the colors that he's playing. We'll have a five color wheel, red, green, yellow, and blue and black, which is not shown here. But uh, every turn, you'll roll your three dice. And then you have the option of using your dice for three things. The first thing you can use your dice for is uh, Drago Shields, which is this icon right here. So you will place your dice, like for example, yellow in front of the yellow fort, uh, green in front of green and red in front of red and then these become defenders for your forts. Okay. Like 0, 03, zero, 04 and zero, 03 respective depending on the value of the die. Okay and the next thing you can use it for is strengthening your creatures that you have on the field. Okay. So on the top right hand corner of the card is a die slot so we call this Drago Crossing. If I place a die on the top right hand corner the creature automatically gets a plus one plus one to its stats. So this creature essentially becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. But what's interesting about it is some creatures might have additional abilities other than just getting that plus one plus one ability. So for example, this creature gets plus two plus two because it says here if we drag across it with any color die, it gains plus two plus two becoming a four four creature. Okay. So the last thing you can do with the dice is reference the value of the dice depending on the color of the icon and like strengthen your spells as well. So if I cast Elthane's Blessing, I can choose a creature, it gets plus two, plus two for this turn. And if my yellow die, its value is between one to three, I can buff two creatures. But if it's between four to six, I get to draw an, an extra card as well. Okay. So besides that, we still run through, like uh, similar to our previous games, like Card Fight Vanguard, we have uh, six health points where the objective of the game will be to destroy your opponent's forts before they destroy yours. Okay. So it's a race against destruction. <laughs> well, that was what I was wondering. Is like, so these are, it's a two player game? Yes, it's a okay. one versus one game. So similar to all our previous TCGs, you will set up with uh, these six forts here. Uh, six barriers, sorry, excuse me. So six barriers here will kind of like denote your life points and then you summon your creatures, play your spells to destroy your opponent's creatures. Then they will attack you and destroy your shields and break through your barriers. And when all your barriers are gone or when all your opponent's barriers are gone, you win the game. Great, right. and then um, and then the dice is obviously a very unique right. element to the game. So it's. It's kind of like an added layer of complexity. Mm -hmm. So besides just thinking of like uh, what creatures to summon and what spells to play, you have to think about whether you want to go more defensive by using your creature, your dice as Drago Shields or strengthening your creatures or using it to, you, to strengthen your spells. So sometimes, like for example, a spell could reference a red value dice, but if it's destroyed, you can't reference a red value die anymore. So maybe you don't want to use it as a shield, maybe you want to keep it aside, you want mm -hmm. to protect it so that you can use it to strengthen your red spells instead. Mm -hmm. So all this gives another layer of complexity and we, we hope that people enjoy the, the added uh, functions with the dice, the, mm -hmm. more, the more thinking and the more planning they have. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I think we missed it earlier, but the name of this game is Dragoborn. Right. Dragoborn, and it's a two-player, 1v1, right. TCG. So when you say TCG, what does that mean from how it is packaged? All right, so it means you get uh, your usual pre-constructed decks okay. and you'll get your booster packs as well. Mm -hmm. So this game uh, launches on the 4th of August. So the three pre-constructed decks will be released then. And then during Gen Con on the 17th of August, the booster pack will release. And the booster packs are random assorted or random are they, they pre okay. Yes. So it is, so it is rarity, essentially collectible yeah, and you is. do have rarity involved. And um, one of the things I find interesting about this is that there is a really nice design pedigree behind the Thank game. You. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, so Mike Elliott designed the game mm -hmm. and Mike is a well-known designer for TCGs and we are very happy to work with him. So he gave us this uh, concept with uh, the, the complexity of dice and we totally liked it and we've been working with him ever since. Yeah, Mike Elliott is uh, so talented and I mean, um, behind things like e like even like Warriors and a lot yeah, of... Um, yeah, he did like Battle Spirits, he designed mm. some magic sets and uh, not oh, yeah. some, sorry, a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot of magic there yeah. back in the day, right? Yeah. So um, I was really excited to hear that you had you were Thank partnering you. with such a wonderful designer. So that's Dragoborn, you were saying it was, I, I know you said the launch date, but I'm, can you say it again? Okay, so August 4th, uh -huh. the three, three pre-constructed decks release and August 17th, the 
first booster pack releases. Right. And do you remember the MSRP on the pre-constructed decks? Uh, we haven't uh, released that information yet, but we will be doing so in the coming weeks. That sounds yeah. great. So, Dragoborn. Yes. <laughs> awesome. From Bushi Road Games. Rudy, thank you so much thank you for taking so much. a few minutes with us. I appreciate it. It's always thank nice you. to see you. Thank you, everybody, for watching our coverage here at Gamma 2017. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.